Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm back. I'm your teacher, your friend, your instructor, Sajid. So, guys, in our last video, we have studied Java methods. So, in today's video, we will learn about parameters and arguments. What are they? So as we have seen in our like uh, before that a method in a method is uh, uh, you can say contains a block of code which is executed when the method is called or method is executed we can say so we can pass on some information to the method so that the block of code inside method can use it to produce some results to to do some calculation etc so information can be passed to methods as parameter parameters act as variables inside the method so these are actually variables it's not that a value which is sent to a method is a fixed value these these can be changed every time we call the method so these are sort of variables so parameters are specified after the method name inside parentheses you can add as many parameters as you want just separate them with the comma so in this example we can see here this is our method and its name is my method and then in the uh, parentheses uh, we have string f name so this one is actually uh, our parameter f name is our parameter so when the method is called we pass uh, a first name f name which is used inside the method to print the full name okay guys let's look at the code so here we have um, our method which accepts string f name as a parameter and here we are sending let's say uh, and when we call this method we are sending these strings Liam, Jenny, Anja, Anja, yeah. So I'm sorry if I don't pronounce correctly. So when you call this method, this Liam goes, he comes here to this F name, it's a variable, and when you say system dot out dot print line, this F name is used here. So if I change this to XXX and this I change to why 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 <clears throat> and if I change this to Z Z Z and if I run the code now okay guys on the right side keep your eyes here okay XXX refsness and Y Y Y Z Z Z so three each time we are calling the method we are sending a different uh, argument so these 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 you know f names strings here these are called arguments and f name is called parameter right so these arguments when are sent to the method the method is executed and print line prints the full name and last name here so I hope you understand this concept so let's move forward okay guys now we okay not only uh, we can um, have uh, a single uh, parameter in a method but we can have multiple parameters as well as you can see in this method we have string f name and int age so now we're gonna print full name and age okay and one thing we need to be sure when make sure when we execute or call this method my method we have now to send two arguments one is string and one is integer because the second one is integer the first one is string my method you're sending the, the is again third time you're executing now you're sending different integer different name so it will be passed to this uh, method it will then uh, print name let's look at the code uh, here's the output so if I change this 30 to 50 and this 5 to maybe 
55, 8 to maybe um, 58 and there's a run them so guys you can see now we are sending name and age as arguments and these arguments go to these uh, parameters which are sort of variables and which are used by this print line method to print the for, 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 for f name first name and age so uh, this is how it works let's move forward okay this was about multiple parameters now look at the what is return value so we have seen keyword wide before in our example and I told you before that wide means that method should not return a value if you want the method to return a value you can use a primitive data type such as int char etc if you know, want to know more details about primitive data types uh, see my video in this course about uh, data types and you will learn all about these types so now instead of wide we can use the return keyword inside the method so let's look at this, this code here what we gonna do hey guys so this is our method and it has one parameter integer x and what am I going to do I'm adding 5 into whatever will be sent to me in this method and then return that summation and my type of the method is now not void it's int because the return type is int whatever would be the result of x plus 5 that will be returned by this method and it will be type of and its data type will be int so here we see my method I'm sending number 3 it is added into 5 which becomes 8 and here is my answer so now for example if I send it um, 100 so answer should be 105 so let's look on the right side okay our answer is 105 oh great that's right this is what we were expecting Alright okay, guys, next let's move forward. Now we know what the return values are and just keep in mind this can be integer, it can be string, you can return string as well, it can be float, it can be like like other uh, primitive data other data types. So um, now we have two parameters being sent to this method which has a return type of int we add two parameters are x and y so when these arguments come here they are added and return so it's sort of small method which has the function to add two numbers so they will add five to three and answer will be eight so this is how we can in, uh, send two parameters so guys now let's look at our next example in this example what we are going to do how it's different where uh, you can also store the result in a variable so here you know uh, we were directly calling the method and printing and output was going to print line and here in this example we are storing the result inside a variable first which is z and in later uh, command or in the later statement we are printing this line so let's look at it okay so here we have x plus 5 let's now uh, make it 15 plus 13 and even we can change the name of this parameter big xxx okay right xxx okay run the code 15 plus 13 who knows the answer our this small program will tell you oh yes this is 28 so what happened we call the method we send two parameters arguments we uh, to be precise 15 and 13 it will do summation it will return the value in the form of integer that integer i'm saving in a variable called xxx 
and then I have system dot out dot print line where I am using this command this method print line to print dash integer which has value 28 so I hope you understand this concept as well let's move forward okay at the end we have a small program what does it do it gives you it says you uh, your access is allowed if your age is more than 18 years so you tell that your you tell your age to the software this small program this program will check your age against the number 18 and if your age is lesser than 18 it will not give you access to something and if it's more than 18 it will give you access so and for this purpose we will use if else statement inside the methods so let's look at this interesting code wow this is going to be maybe the longest code we are looking at in one of our videos as an example so look at it public class main so static white check age integer age this method receives one integer age what does it do then it has if statement in the if statement if age is less than 18 this if you remember is what it's a, a boolean you know a comparison it will return either false and true so this is sort of we can call it logical expression so if age is less than 18 it says system dot ordered print line access denied you are not uh, old enough and else because you know if age is less than 18 and but if it's more than 18 it will return false f if will not execute the code block inside if body will not be executed and you and you move to else part and whatever will be there in the else body that block co block of code will be executed so here we have access granted you are old enough so guys we have check age 20 so when you're 20 you're more than 18 you have access you are old enough right and you are you are not okay we have 20 so it means you are old enough but if now I change it to 17 what's gonna happen okay check age we are calling our method and it's executing it's about to give answer access denied you're not old enough you're small you can't get in okay guys 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 my friends my friends my friends so now here we close over this chapter in which we have learned many things we have used the felt in a method we have inserted two parameters and uh, the return value stored in a parameter in a variable we have given two parameters take a taking a return value and printed it then we have uh, tried multiple inputs and so and so on so this uh, that's all about the parameters and arguments input to the param uh, to the methods in java i hope this uh, video has been informative for you you did learn a lot of things here new concepts if things are not clear you can ask me in the comment section and i'm waiting for your comments and i would love to reply them so i'll be very happy if someone learns something from me right guys so please share these videos with your friends colleagues or anybody around you who's learning java or having any difficulty i am more than happy to help and support so i'll be back with another video by that time take care bye bye and allah hafiz